New York. Today we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. He'll rumble for about six up across the 20 to the 22. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So second and four from the 22. Here's Pacheco once again. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But, well, partner, if the defense isn't going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down and three. Pacheco gets it and tries the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. 47 yards rushing for him now to this point. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he gets it down to the 32. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Now second and three. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Caught. Kelsey, left side. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Running left to give to Pacheco. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here now, second and four. A handoff now for Pacheco. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo.
Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. Avoids him at the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Again, it's Cook. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. the first down and then some. Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs, 38 yards. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Yellow. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. He'll get this to about the 38. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. From the 38 now, here's second down and seven. On play action, it's Mahomes. Into space at the 45. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Second down and six now. Mahomes going to throw. 
Rolling to his right. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, 45 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he tries to get as much as he can here while protecting the football as he dives to the ground. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Allen going to throw. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And again, it's Allen. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Gets this one to Morris. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Eluding the pressure right. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. This is caught. Touchdown. Khalil Shakir, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He'll buy some time right. He'll get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. Brought down by Ed Oliver. 
And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And oh, off the crossbar, no good. A sensational effort from that distance, but rejected by the bar. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. A tie game. I don't think anybody in this building, including you or I, was expecting that. <laughs> no, I would agree with that totally. I didn't expect to see it at all, but I kind of like where they were going with this. You know, as you said, tie game, trying to steal a possession, steal an advantage, and you told your defense in the half you were going to do it, which also told them that you had confidence in them in case it failed, as that one just did. And now you've given good field position here to start the third quarter. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. To the air, Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's going to get this inside the 30. First down, here's the run with Cook. Oh, he shifts past him. Jukes by again. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Allen. Flush to his right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And in the second half of a tie game, every decision gets magnified. And here, if he forces this ball, it could be intercepted. So that's the prudent play to just airmail it out of bounds. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. The slot man in motion right. Throwing now is Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills have taken the lead. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Holmes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second down and four. They go play fake. Mahomes. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain there of 21 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. From midfield, here's Mahomes. A dump down to McKenna. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And they'll come up second and seven. Again, it's Pacheco. 
And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 31. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. And they try with Pacheco. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. 103 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Pacheco once more, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Here's second and three. Here's Cook again. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Most of the damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Allen now looks to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. Big strides, look at him go. And he is going to have the Bills first down as he'll wind up getting seven there on fourth and three. Back to the ground, Cook. 
Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. And now defensively they're going to burn their first time out. Remember they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two minute warning. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Here's a second and seven. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll find Gabriel Davis. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Here's Allen. Right back to Davis. It's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To throw is Allen. Cook up the gut. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Now Allen. They run it again with Cook. Now what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you've got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Throwing Allen. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeout. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Now second and four. Allen on the give. This is their fullback. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. So all eyes now on Tyler Bass. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And his kick is right there. It's good, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. They'll come up first and 10 here. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.